Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, in this HD screencast for the Locker Gnome YouTube channel and chris.perillo.com, we'll be taking a look at Flock, a social web browser. Now you might have seen my review of Rock Melt on this channel a little bit earlier this month, and this is a browser that was really given a good run for its money by Rock Melt, but this is truly the original social browser. So we'll go ahead and double click to open, it's not my default browser, but this is a browser available for both Mac OS X and Windows, so go ahead and give it a try, the latest version has been changed a lot to keep ahead of Rock Melt, as so they say on their website, as that's their main competitor. So you can see right off the bat as I open it, it is based off of Google Chrome's engine, as is Rock Melt. So up at the top here, you see tabs at the top, you'll see your address bar nice and thin. It doesn't take a whole lot of screen real estate, so this is great for people with laptops or smaller screens. You also have a button right below that for your home favorites and groups, etc. Down here is a little bit of an advertisement, but it's basically letting you know that you should sign in to or create a Flock account to get the most out of this browser and stay productive. So you can connect your RSS feeds, Facebook account, Twitter account, Flickr, YouTube, and LinkedIn accounts all within this browser, and that'll be very prevalent later when I show you a new feature called the sidebar. So up here on the right hand side are two pretty important buttons. Here is where the wrench would be in Google Chrome if you guys are familiar with that. And here are all your options, your cut and paste, your new tab, downloads, history, printing, etc. that are pretty much standard for a web browser these days. On the right hand side, you have this sidebar. So you're going to get the most out of this when you're signed into your Flock account. You'll be able to get all of your feeds here. Every time a subscription uploads a new video for YouTube, that'll show up at the top here. Every time someone updates their Twitter or Facebook status or whatever you want to activate up here, it will show up in your sidebar. You can also make this as big or as small as you want. So for those of you with smaller screens, you can just have that as an icon and you can be able to click on those icons and open them up. Or you can view more information with text. So that's really cool. It's a very customizable browser. Now also, besides the customizing of this browser, you will be able to check out the uh, performance of this browser. So if I just go ahead and visit google.com, C-O-M. You'll see it's a really snappy browser. The animations work well. Of course, I didn't spell that right. The animations work well. There's nothing that really doesn't work with this browser. And of course, if we test the ACID3 test, as we do with every web browser we review here, you'll see the score is a nice, quick, perfect 100 out of 100 with perfect reference rendering. So there's nothing fundamentally wrong with this browser. It's been around for a while, and Rockmelt gave it a run for its money. And they've made some pretty vast updates here to get this set up. So if you go ahead and make a Flock account and get get a good look at this browser and check it out for yourself, you can leave a comment in the comment section below letting us know what you think of this browser. Until next time, this has been MKBHD with the screencast for the Locker Gnome YouTube channel. I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.